Hey guys, Thunderset here, showing you a new deck that revolves around Elemental Hero the Shiny. So we just got him in this main box. Uh, I pretty much just tweaked the Grand Merge E-Hero deck I made. Uh, my monster cards is just so good. It's so easy to use with Elemental Heroes. Your deck still functions so well, even just mixing up the monster cards. So let's start with some new cards. I'm using a Golden Dragon Summoner because he's a light monster, and uh, you tribute him and return one card to the hand, one card on the field to the hand. So that's super meta relevant right now. So I figured, you know, meta relevant light monster tech, why not? One of them to get my monster cards. And then of course, for my monster cards, I always like to add the Solid Soldier. He's very useful in a hero deck. Blaze Man will of course search Polly. Then in this one, I wanted to go with Captain Gold because he's light and to add in a Skyscraper element to really help us swing over things like Blue Eyes and uh, Dark Lords. And then of course, you gotta have the Neo Sengen. So we have the full three. We have a Sparkman just as a light and a normal elemental hero so he's reaching everything. And then we have two Miracle Fusions because that's what you really want to use to get your Elemental Hero Shining because it's banishing heroes that's going to give him more attack. And we're using one Nobleman of Crossout. So this card, if you don't know what it does, you target one face down monster in the field, destroy the target. If you do, you banish it. Then, if it was a flip monster, each player reveals their main deck, then banishes all cards from it with that monster's name. So pretty useful against all the Gale Lizards and Shazanks and stuff like that out right now. So he's a pretty cool card. Maybe people will start playing it more. But uh, in the extra deck, we have two Lord Shining, two Neos Fusion, one Grand Merge, one Core. I love Core. He's probably my favorite elemental hero. But I don't think we use him much. We uh, crush a, a bunch of Dark Lords in this replay. So we're fighting a bunch of Dark Lords, beating them up. So uh, the shine beats the dark. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the replays, thanks. So this deck was just beating up Blue Eyes, beating up Dark Lords by summoning a 3200 monster. Pretty easy. That's shining. As long as you do it with Miracle Fusion, he's gonna be 3200. So here we're going first. Now watch this play, it's pretty gnarly. When you get both Poly and uh, Miracle Fusion off. That's why we're running two Miracle Fusion. So we normal summon Blaze Man, search the Poly. That's going to give us one. Look, we're going to do this all without the Blaze Man, too. So here's one Shiny. Now Miracle Fusion into the second Shiny. Banish two heroes. 3200 field with the elemental blaze man still on there crazy stuff like i said we're fighting dark lords what are they gonna do what can he do he's not using beat down he's using uh sealed tomb so there's no way he's gonna get over this 3200 monster right now he's gonna dance around with his life points and uh just not get it what he could have done was negate their effects to drop them down to 2600 maybe get one of them killed off. Still gonna be really hard. Here he's using a special summon to pretty much just stall. Swing into there. Using another special summon. He's brought himself all the way down to 400 life though so that's kind of not what you want to do with Dark Lords. Oh it's Fairy Smile. He's not using Seal too. So that's still pretty good but that's still too low of life points. He also could have Summoned the Ubot, uh, dumped a trap card, and then used the effect of the trap card to maybe kill one of them. I don't know. I have no idea what his face downs could be. He just couldn't get over 3200 shines. So uh, they get big, guys. As long as you wait for the miracle fusions, they get pretty big. So here we're finding another Shizu. I don't think it's uh, Dark Lords again, though. see what it is. My monster cards activates. Not the best hand in the world, but we'll make it work. So we start with the Neos, throw a Captain Gold into the graveyard, because we already have our Skyscraper. Flute of Summoning Karibo. 
Oh wait, no, it is another Dark Lord. Wow, we beat so many Dark Lords with this deck. So there we go. Banish. Use this Power of the Guardians. That's actually a really strong combo with that monster, because he can just keep gaining his attack back and keep using his removal effect. But here's that new tech I showed you. The Golden Dragon Summoner. So we return him to the hand. He's bricked out. What else is he going to do? We Neos Fusion. There we go. Normal summon our Spark Man. Swing for lethal? Nope. He has a Sphere Karibo. So we just hit him with a Spark Man. But uh, he's Dark Lord, so he already blew a special summon. And a Sphere Karibo. Even with four hands, look. And we see what he drew. He drew another Desire, so he's bricked. Nothing he can do. Has to bounce. Just swinging over Dark Lords like it's no problem, guys. Crazy, crazy. So I think this is just another quick win to show a little bit. To, to just show some of the plays in the deck, pretty much. So my monster cards always makes a difference. We have a Blazeman, a King of the Swamp, we're going second. He sets one. We have two Neos Fusion, which is crazy useful. Use one Neos. Bring out one Brave Neos. Normal summon our Blazeman. Throw a Captain Gold into the graveyard. Now we're threatening lethal with uh, Blazeman and that. So he heals himself. We're fighting a Dark Lords. So he heals himself by using the new trap card which negates his effect. He could have negated his effect and saved a thousand more damage. Here he special summons his Amadus. Sets uh, his effect negation again. Gains a thousand. Sorry, it's a lot going on. So he special summoned with the spell card, which is Contract, or Contact, whatever it's called. Let's find it. Special summons with Contact. Uses this guy's effect. Returns this to the deck. Special summons, tributes him, sorry, into this guy. Uses his effect, banishes our Neos. Attacks into our Blazeman. But he's just a 2000 monster, so really what is he gonna do? Pull into a Miracle Fusion, start with it immediately. That's gonna be a Shining, so you usually want to do it with Miracle Fusion. You don't want to bring him out with a normal poly. You want that 3200. He's 3000. Skyscraper just because. Swinging with crazy damage. Right over Dark Lords. They're not big enough, guys. Pretty crazy. Hope you So this deck runs a lot like... Uh, all the other e hero decks. I mean, honestly, to use Shining, he's not usually the best play, and he, he's not too strong on his own, so he's not, you know, breaking heroes. This deck uses him, but even in this deck, the better play is usually a, a different hero. Like, I'll, I'll tell you when there's plays where a better hero would be useful. But anyway, we're finding a 6 Sam here. He kind of bricks. All he could do was special summon the keys on and get a search. Now here, we throw a King of the Swamp to the grave, we have a Poly and a Miracle Fusion. Throw a uh, Captain Gold to the grave, Miracle Fusion first for a Brave Neos. Play Skyscraper. Now we Poly for Lord, or Lord Shining, for the Hero Shining, he's only 2900 because only one Elemental Hero is banished. We search a Fusion. Big damage, he only has 500 left. So he, he pretty much bricked. He gets an end sheet, returns my Lord Shining, and then surrenders. So he couldn't really do anything, just a brick. Pretty cool. So I think this is just another Six Sam who bricks. Uh, we don't have to play around a Sheen, which we probably could. But I don't think we have to. I think he just bricks. I think here you get to see Nobleman of Crossout. Yeah, so we're going to see Nobleman of Crossout and how he works. So, as you can see, this guy bricks. He pulls all three of his dojos, sets a Fuma. We're going to Nobleman of Crossout that Fuma. It destroys the Fuma first and then banishes it. So the Fuma effect still goes off. Uh, special summons Kizaru. Kizaru gives him a search of a Fuma. So he has a Sheen next turn, but there will not be a next turn. We get Skyscraper out. 
least normal summon Solid Soldier, let's go to Special Summon Captain Gold. He's allowed to be out with Skyscraper, Neos Fusion, we could have swung over the Kizaru with the 1300 Solid Soldier and then swung with our others, it was lethal. So it's a pretty fun deck. I would say this is not the best way to play Elemental Heroes. If I was going to try my hardest with the Elemental Hero deck, I would not add the Shine. I would not add the Shiny. There's just too many better heroes out now than the Shiny overall. But I hope you guys enjoyed some of the plays, so thanks.